I want to talk about this briefly, about the Canelo versus McGee fight. It's not written in stone. It's a possibility. But does McGee deserve a shot or did he earn a shot against Canelo Alvarez? Well, because that's why I hear everybody says this person wants a payday. That person wants a payday. This person doesn't deserve a title shot. This person hasn't earned a title shot. But you're going to tell me Jaime McGee, who has a steady diet of tomato cans and just moved up to 168, earned a title shot against Canelo Alvarez and Andre and Benavides didn't? We can question Andre's and Benavides' resume all day. But you also got to include Jaime McGee in there. Now, like I said, the fight hasn't been signed or nothing's written in stone yet. But I'm saying if he gets the fight, what makes him better than Benavides and Andre? I mean, it's cool for um, McGee to get in the ring with John Ryder because I think John Ryder is a credible opponent. But Andre and Benavides are fighting each other. And even though I'm picking Canelo to beat all three of these guys, I think it's a more competitive fight if he fights Andre or Benavides. I think flat out, McGee is a mismatch and will be destroyed. Obviously, you always want to run the back when, when, you, when you take a loss. Um, I feel like at di di different circumstances, I could beat him. Pops and everybody. But Under what different conditions do you feel like you could beat Javante? I mean, I, everybody knows the obvious of what I'm talking about. You know, Wait. you can't even do a, a interview. Can, can you do an interview dehydrated? Sounds like we have a motivated Ryan Garcia, but talk is cheap. Action speaks louder than words. Ryan Garcia wants a rematch with Javante Davis in the future. And to get that rematch, he's going to have to make his bones at 140. The perception of some boxer fans is Ryan Garcia is a social media star more than a boxer. And to prove he's not just a social media star, he's taking boxer serious. He's in the killer 140 pound weight class. And to get that Javante Davis fight, he knows he has to take some killers down. There's Tiafima Lopez, Regis Prograis, Devin Haney. There's also Sabril Matias, who I consider the boogeyman at 140. No one's jumping to fight him. If Ryan could go up there and get a win over one of those 140 pound killers and become a title holder, that would not hurt the situation. Maybe that would enhance and tempt Javante Davis to go up to 140 and challenge Ryan Garcia once again. Now, most people think nine out of 10 times, Javante Davis will beat Ryan Garcia. The point Ryan Garcia is trying to make is, why do you need a rehydration clause and why do you need a catch weight to beat Ryan Garcia? I mean, people thought Javante Davis would beat Ryan Garcia anyway. Why did he need the clauses? Ryan Garcia believes it will be a more fair fight at 140. He will be stronger and not dehydrated, which means he has a better chance of beating Javante Davis. Well, we shall see if Ryan Garcia puts in the work and gets in position for the rematch. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. Jay Beasy, I'm gone.